Hey guys, GA here and welcome to another unboxing video. Today is Nanoha Takamachi. So while I was at KomoriCon 2017, I got seven figures and this is just one of them. This is by far one of the best ones that I've found. Uh, this is a Figma and Figmas are usually really expensive, but this one was only $35. Which is weird because this is quite rare. <laughs> I've never seen this. Uh, like I can't. Like I didn't even see it online for a good price. So this is astounding. Thirty-five for a Figma is just a steal. First off, and I did look, and I'm. It's, it's from the uh, Max Factory and Good Sm Good Smile Company. So it's real. So that's pretty awesome. Anyway, let's get on into it. Uh, I'll show you guys the. Um, uh, the box around it, which the box just looks amazing, by the way. Um, I love the artwork they put on these boxes. Uh, this is really nice. Um, it actually looks like something you would see in uh, the Nanoha anime. Mostly in A's, but whatever. <laughs> I'll, I'll live. Um, I don't have an A's figure. Uh, it's okay. <laughs> um, but anyway, so the front has the Figma and the you know logo and all that kind of stuff. The number, product number... 53 this is old <laughs> action figure figma yeah oh the, okay this is from the movie yeah it says the movie first version so if you guys don't know um there's a movie and it's called the movie first like that's the title it's uh magical girl magical girl lyrical nanoha uh the movie first yeah because <laughs> because they needed to tell you that it was the first one for some reason um they didn't even make a, a second one as far as I know. Um, I don't remember, actually. It's been a while. Um, but uh, anyway, the sides of the box just have the Figma thing and her uh, picture. And the back has the different poses you can put her in, which is just uh, just, just a number of poses. Uh, there's one, two, three, four, five. There's, there's six different things you can pose her in according to the back, but there's an infinite according to your imagination. So uh, let's get on into it. This one uh, has, like, no tape. Like, oh, that's why it was 35. I think it was opened. But that's okay. I don't mind. This has a little, oh, this has a little thing showing you how to take the head off. Like, how to open, or how to, not off, but, like, how to open it so, uh, so that you can change the hair and the faces. So let's get into this here. Oh, my God. I have to grab that off of there. That is amazing. All right, so I'll show you guys, guys this um, both on the page and not on the page. But on the back, um, this was the insert, the cardboard insert. You can take this out of there. It, it's like a, um, a perforated thing. So you can take that off. So I'll do that later and show you guys what it looks like. Um, but let's get into the Figma itself. It has all the pieces, so it doesn't matter if it's used. God, these things are so difficult to open. They like almost vacuum form themselves shut. And it's very annoying. Alright, so. We have the bag, the clear bag that you put all the pieces in, which is awesome. Because that's where all that stuff goes. Right now, mine, the my Nanoha one for the, that I have over here, um, which I'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, that one, I literally just had a spare bag because it didn't come with one. So that that's where I so that, that that's how I put uh, uh, those in like in storage, and they're all in like this drawer system I have here. So it comes with these little instructions, just like every Figma on, like, that things can come apart and, you know, where to put things and whatever. Um, so that's awesome. Uh, here's a stand. It's your typical Figma stand. So nothing, nothing new there. So let's put it together. Boom. Typical Figma stand. Now let's uh, get rid of some of the garbage. She has eight interchangeable hands and then the two that are on her so 10 interchangeable hands and then there's these wings here that go on her shoes uh these came on my other one too 
Um, this doesn't have exactly the same stuff that my other one did. Uh, the bigger one came with some extra stuff. Um, because the stand is different and everything, it also came with... Um, I'll grab those in a minute. <laughs> it actually came with a... Um, uh, like this magic circle thing. Cause she has this weapon here that is a blast. It's, it's for blasting. Um, it does this big special attack and blasts a beam out. And there's a bunch of uh, magic circles that go around it. Um, to It's just part of the attack. It's just what it looks like. And uh, it, the other one comes with those. Because the stand has places to set the things to to make them look like it's um, doing the magic attack. So I just have her in the in like an attack position, but I didn't want to put those on it because I didn't know how. I, could, I couldn't figure out how to put them on it, so I just never did. Uh, anyway, but um, I got that one out, so I might as well. Um, oh, this one's the one that comes apart. Are they both, I think, they, do they both come apart? They shouldn't. Well, they do. Yeah, they both come apart, even though they shouldn't. Um, well, I mean, they should according to the figure, but, uh, she has this little gun piece. Get out. Well, the gun piece would go on to make, like, no, there we go. Let's see if I can get it on. There we go. Take, now take the head off of the other one, off of the big one, put the gun piece on the head. Get it straight on there. But that's weird. There we go. I don't know. I'm almost forgetting how any of these things go. But this gun piece makes um, a handle for a gun part of a weapon uh, that she uses. Uh, let me put this all back together now. Hold on. None of this goes together correctly. Ah, oh, there we go. That's how it goes on. <laughs> Got it. All right, so I'm not going to use the gun piece because I never do. I'm going to use it like elongated like this. This piece is the one I like the best. So that's the weapon I'm going to use for her. Um, but her staff, her rising heart staff is the best one. Uh, I wanted to make that, but I can't. <laughs> um, she comes with little... Ferret boy, I don't remember his name. It's like you know or something like that. And he he turns it. He's a familiar who turns into a into a ferret. He's a little weird kid. Um, and he's a magic user, just like Nanoha. Um, so let's see the uh, articulation and stuff. Oh, that is nice and tight. That is what I want in a figure. That's how figmas are supposed to be. So most figmas the. Uh, the movement in the arms is very loose and it makes it really hard to keep them styled because they don't stay in position. They kind of slowly go out of position. Well, this one stays in position, which is what she's supposed to do. So that is good. I like that. All right. So, um, oh, this one does. Okay. So the bigger one, the back, pops open and stuff so it looks like it's floating like this but then it closes again so you can make her like standing uh so that's kind of bad that it doesn't do that oh well um under the uh yeah you can see where the articulation is under the jacket and that looks kind of bad you wouldn't normally be looking at it from behind anyway but that looks kind of cheap and well bad so that sucks. Um, so let's, uh, uh, you're going to see all this stuff anyway. I'm not going to change any of the faces out, I don't think. Yes, I am. Because, <laughs> never mind. Yes, I am. Because this one, uh, this one's the angry face. And that's the one I want. Let's put that down there. I wanted the mad face. And that's what this one is. So we're going to change it. Bam, angry face. All right. So yeah, I think this one matches the one that's up there, though. Uh, you guys will see a difference in both of them uh, because I'll show you 
everything I'm talking about for both of them. Um, but let's uh, let's get her hands on here that are going to be holding uh, the uh, weapons or weapon, I should say. Oh, another good thing I found out now about this. Uh, the other one, the blue arm pieces, they're like wrist cuff things. She doesn't have them in the in the anime. She only has them in the movie. It's really weird. Uh, but the ones on the the bigger figure, uh, they weirdly uh, they uh, move like they turn side to side, and they can come off when you take the hands off. It's really odd. But uh, this one seems to not have that problem. Okay, now I'm looking for. Yes, that's what I'm looking for. Right there. <laughs> I was trying to find um, a hand that's gripping. That wasn't one of her trigger hands. Alright. I guess you have to have um, the, the weapon come apart. Because that's how it's going to fit in her hands. Alright, so let's see. Okay, so problem. Uh, these hands don't seem to want to grab the weapon. Like, at all. So, I'm going to have to fuss with that. But, when I finally get that done, I'll show you what the weapon looks like in her hands. Alright, so these weapons do not fit in her hands very well. So, I'm going to have to figure out how to make this work so i'll just show you guys at the end i'll like have some pictures or videos or something of what it looks like and then i'll also show you comparisons of both of them uh, because the other one is significantly bigger at least like a, a, a fourth of the size bigger so i don't know but anyway that is it for this so if you guys like this video hit that like button maybe subscribe for more and i'll see you guys later